Dan Aaron, uh, November 14th, a key date for uh, CalAnn. The utility hoping to get approval for its desal plant, but opposition is mounting. Hey, hey, ho, ho, CalAnn has got to go. Hey, hey. A rally outside Colton Hall in Monterey to protest CalAnn's plans for a desalination plant that's up for a key vote before the California Coastal Commission. Requesting that they deny the current desal plant because it's environmentally damaging and it is very, very expensive. Calam opponents support an expansion of the Pure Water Monterey Project, a wastewater recycling program they say is environmentally friendly and cheaper to build. There's an urgency, kind of like climate change, to get our act together, and it doesn't include having a corporation control your water for three times the cost of a public alternative. Marina Mayor Bruce Delgado, one of 28 Monterey County elected leaders who have signed a letter to the Coastal Commission urging members to deny CalM's desal plant. And if we get approval on the 14th, um, we will finally have a water supply that's adequate to meet the needs of our community. CalM, which is under an order to reduce pumping of the Carmel River, says the Public Utilities Commission is recommending the desal plant and the utility has an environmental impact report that was upheld in court. CalM says Pure Water Monterey is a good project, but not enough. This question was studied by the state, it was studied by the federal government, and the conclusion was that Pure Water Monterey alone will not solve the problem. Now, the California Coastal Commission again scheduled to take up that vote on the Calam desal plant at its November 14th meeting in Half Moon Bay. If Calam gets their approval, they plan to have that uh, desal plant built by the end of 2021. In the studio, Felix Cortez, KSBW, Action News 8.